500 endgame packs. And it turns out I opened packs at the worst possible time. Because shortly after the Season 8 Super Pack, which guarantees a Dark Matter, and the Invincible Deluxe Pack, which guarantees an Invincible player, dropped. So my timing wasn't great, but I'm gonna run it back here. I'm gonna open an absurd amount of these Invincible Packs, and we're just gonna see what we can pull. Keep in mind, the Deluxe guarantees an Invincible, whereas the Invincible Pack does not guarantee it, but it's got over a 50% chance at a Dark Matter player, and you also have a chance in an Invincible. So honestly, I would like this pack to be my guinea pig, since I can buy it with MT. So we'll start here. And we start out with a Dark Matter, baby. We should be getting a Dark Matter every other other pack a little bit more than every other pack do we start out with an invincible it's a center number 24 is it walker kessler is it invincible walker kessler if you don't watch wheel of 2k you're probably wondering why i'm excited this guy's a dog by the way you guys requested that i play with the team that i pack so basically a pack and play i'm definitely gonna do that again today i apologize for not doing it last time last time though i had been opening packs for literally four and a half hours i was kind of i was kind of over it i'm not gonna lie it's nice having wheel of 2k be done though i can uh, just aggressively spend my mt i don't need it for anything all right next one up is an eastern conference small forward number 33 from the scotty pippen invincible it's very possible damn dude these are loaded let's put this in perspective i've opened five packs okay two invincibles already out of five packs i opened fucking what 500 endgame julius servings pack i got a manu ginobili invincible and two endgame oh i'm still mad about it bro you need Need to shut the fuck up. You guys ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? And today I have with me a Warby Parker home try-on kit. If you're unfamiliar, Warby Parker offers everything you need for happier eyes. Eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lens, even eye exams. And I'm proud to partner with them today. And their home try-on kit is an absolute game changer if you're looking to buy glasses or sunglasses. The biggest issue is you look online and glasses and sunglasses look great, but you have no idea what they're gonna look like on your face. And to to fix that, Warby Parker lets you try on up to five pairs at home completely free. So I've got these five pairs here and I can try them on. Like one of my all-time favorite pairs, the Fisher sunglasses. Or a new style here, the York sunglasses. Or the Simon glasses right here. So now that I've tried my glasses and sunglasses on, I'll keep and pay for the ones that I love and I'll ship everything else back completely free. Glasses start at $95. That includes prescription lenses. And like I said, there's no better way to do it than the Warby Parker home try-on kit. See it on your face, feel it on your face, face, love it, and then pay for it. So to try five pairs of glasses at home completely free, go to warbyparker.com forward slash MMG, or just click the link in the top of the description. Warby Parker, thank you for your continued support of my videos, and guys, enjoy the rest. The sunk cost fallacy says you basically, you shouldn't be upset stopping something just because you invested time or money into it, because that money or time has already been invested. Let me give you an analogy. Let's say you go to a restaurant, you order a steak. It's a hundred dollars. You start eating the steak and it's absolute dog shit. That steak sucks. So what do you do? That could be Invincible Lamella Ball. Put the steak analogy on pause because I think that's Invincible Lamella Ball. Come on, baby. Go! Oh, it's still 16-bit. Damn it. So you're at the restaurant, you ordered the steak, it was $100. And the steak is horrible. Now some people, this is what they say. They say, I gotta get my money's worth. I'm gonna finish this steak. I don't care how bad it is, I'm eating it. That is the sunk cost fallacy. Your $100 is gone either way, right? So why eat the steak? If the steak sucks and you don't want it, don't eat it. You're not getting your $100 back even if you shove the whole damn thing down your fat gullet, you obese piece of shit. I didn't take my meds today. Grizzly, oh, is this? Shooter! Shooter in the building! Invincible job! Woo! Come on, baby. Why did I tell you the steak analogy? I told you the analogy because when I was opening those Endgame Julius Serving packs, the sunk cost fallacy hit me pretty hard because I was about 200 packs in and I realized these packs are dog shit. But in my head, I'm saying, no, I've gone so far already. I have to keep going. Stupid. I should have quit. Ooh, Bron Bron? It can't be Invincible Bron Bron though because it was Miami Heat number six. The Invincible Bron, I think it's Cavaliers 23. I'm almost 100% sure it is. Now, Endgame LeBron is... 
Ah, no, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between Endgame or Invincible. I don't think you can pull Endgames in these packs, though. That is the one caveat. You can't pull Endgames. I think I just doubled up on John Moran Invincible. Oh, Jesus. These packs are fucking loaded. I just quick sold Invincible John Moran. Oh, my God. I just quick sold. Whatever. That made you bad, then sorry, buddy, but I don't speak broke. You ain't nothing but a broke boy, 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 boy. You know, I hear the argument all the time that I, I kind of perpetuate sports video games being dog shit because I open packs and the ultimate team and my team modes are what makes these games so shitty year after year. Um, Yeah, it's, it's totally correct. I, I'm not going to even argue against it. I was thinking up an argument. And I was like, yeah, whatever. I'm full of shit. Bulls number one, invincible. Oh, I fucking love the Rose. By the way, football season's coming up. Prize picks, code MMG. If you're in any of those states where you can't use FanDuel DraftKings like Florida, Texas, Texas, you can still use prize picks. Promo code MMG will get you a $100 deposit match. This is not sponsored. It actually isn't. How many Invincibles have we pulled already? I've got D Rose, Scotty, Ja, Walker, Kessler. I might have Invincible Clay. I do have Invincible Clay. Come on, baby. Come on, Mr. Thompson. Come here, Clay. Invincible Clay Thompson. Oh, it's an Invincible. Who is that? Is that Blake? Is that Lana Rhodes' baby daddy? It's not Lana Rhodes' baby daddy. Who the fuck is this? Oh, right. I just, I always think of Pau Gasol as a Laker, you know? Maybe that's not right to think of him that way, but I do. Dude, theme teams would actually be fun. Damn, another Invincible. Dude, these are fucking loaded. That's Kareem or Will. Oh, why do I forget which one was on the Bucks? It's Kareem, okay. Sorry, guys. My brain literally short-circuited there. Invincible Kareem. That's a pretty dope Invincible to pull. And since we're doing a pack-and-play team here, we got to think about our starting lineup. So Kareem is definitely my starting center right now. Walker Kessler can be my starting four. I don't have a really dominant small forward, do I? I got another point guard. Number. Oh, my God. Okay, there's got to be a hierarchy. There's got to be a hierarchy of, like, who's common and who's not. Because that's my third John Morant. Yo, you guys want to play the same game as last time? You know, you want to take a couple of cheeky little bets here about who's going to get pulled the most? Right now, we got three A. A, gambling degenerates. Place your bets. We've got three John Morants. We've got two Scotty Pippins. We've got two Walker Kesslers. John Morant is minus 200. Kessler and Scotty are each plus 200. Any other player, plus 500. Place your bets. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I put a, I put the helmets back there and I, I equip these lights that shine down on them. So they're kind of like, kind of glowing. Kind of just, I'm baiting here. I'm like a girl on Instagram when, you know, I post that, that gym, that gym video where it's just my fat fucking ass cheeks squatting right in front of the camera. I'm begging for attention, but I, I'm hoping that someone will give it to me. That might be a new Invincible. Western Conference center number. Is that Yao? Yo, that's a fucking insanely good pull. Especially because they're doing pack and play. Titans Yao out of the Invincible pack. Oh, that's so good. All right, once we get to Invincible number 35, I'm going to open the bundle, which guarantees 15 of them. Because you get 15. I don't know. My math is dog shit. I'll look at it again. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Another Kareem? Two Kareem Abdul Jabbar. It's so crazy that, like, even a week ago, seeing an Invincible would have made me shoot out of my fucking seat. And now we're playing with these like they're fucking rubies. I'm accidentally quick selling them. So this guarantees 10. Okay. So once we get up to Invincible number 40, we'll do the bundle. Jalen Williams? No, it's a small forward. Ja. No, it is Jalen Williams. I love Jalen Williams. Yes. I thought his primary was shooting guys, so I was confused. Jalen Williams is a dog. Jalen Williams is most likely gonna be my starting two. He'll most likely be my starting shooting guard. Dark Matter, down the middle. Lamelo, please be an invincible this time, Lamelo. Don't you cuck me, Lamelo. I've already seen your 16-bit ass. Let me see that juicy invincible ass. Yes! Go! Invincible LaMelo! Out of that time, boys. All right, huge shout out to my mommy's credit card for closing out the 10 final Invincibles. The deluxe pack guarantees an Invincible. A good old-fashioned pay-to-win game, boys. We love, we love how far we've come. Oh my God, wait a minute. This just got spicy. Because if you're a gambling man, there are four Scotty Pippins. Oh, wait, no, there's only three Walker Kesslers. There are three Walker Kesslers. Interesting. It just keeps me going here. <sighs> Will someone make a surprise? Oh my God! What me? We did it! Oh my God! Does it get any better than that? Victor Wembanyama.
and all it took was massive crippling credit card debt that I will probably never get out of. Another Anthony, dude, Wemby Yama, yes. Uh. I could put Yao at the five, Wemby at the three, and just be a mismatched demon. Oh, it's be oh double. Oh. Oh my fucking God, I'm gonna come! Dude, if that doesn't get you so horny, is seeing two? Mm -hmm. Two dark matters sitting butt naked right next to each other, ready for the sauce. Dude, if I pull two invincibles in one pack, you have to bow down. You have to bow down right now. Starting out with invincible Lana Rhodes, baby daddy. Lana Rhodes, baby daddy! You all get that reference, right? Lana Rhodes has a kid. Everybody thinks Blake Griffin's the dad. Fun fact, by the way. So pro athletes make women sign NDAs, which is a non-disclosure agreement, meaning they're not allowed to say they slept with her. So Lana Rhodes had a kid with an NBA player and she tells everybody that it's an NBA player is the dad, but she's legally not allowed to say who the actual father is. Holy shit, if that's Invincible Kate Cunningham, I'm actually God himself. Oh, it could be high res though. But if it's Invincible, oh, holy shit, I was ready to jump out of my seat. Point is, we'll never know truly who the baby daddy is, but I like to believe it's Blake Griffin. Dude, because Blake Griffin, like, girls think Blake Griffin's so hot. Like, if anyone's gonna dick down Lana Rhodes, it's Blake Griffin. Although, I suppose she was dating Mike Malak. <sighs> he's kind of a, he's kind of a dog. He's kind of a stud, actually. I'm not gonna talk shit about Mike, Mike Malak. I like that. Jason Tatum's invincible? <laughs> Come on! Fun fact, me and Jason Tatum are the same age. Is that fucking weird? Boys, our final and 50th invincible player. I think we just ended with a Pistons stud, Grant Hill. I think. Oh, it's gotta be, right? Grant Hill. Dude, Grant Hill's actually, ooh, that shooting guard. Dude, I have too many good options. Look at all these dupes. How insane is that to see just this lineup of players in my duplicates? All right, well, Wemby to auctions, to auctions, to auctions, to auctions, to auctions, to auctions. And I'm sorry, the rest of you. Getting quick sold. Although, technically, I have enough for one more MT Invincible pack. If you thought my gambling addiction was bad, well, buckle up, buddy! Oh, maybe Grand Hill isn't our last. We're not gonna end with Grand Hill. We're gonna end with a Western Conference center, DeMarcus Cousins. Gideon! Gideon! Invincible Boogie is actually our final player. Beautiful. And if you thought my gambling addiction stopped there, <laughs> I just got enough MT for one. No, but I'm not gonna get an invincible now. That was stupid. I could have ended with an invincible. Oh my god, I'm him. I'm God. I'm him! I am he. I'm Himothy. Another Grant Hill. That's what you call destiny, boys. That's what you call fate. No matter what I tried, I'm ending with Grant Hill. I tried to finesse the system, and I still end with Grant Hill. What a beauty. All right, gentlemen. And now the question is, who are we putting in and where? We have so many options. At point guard, we could run Invincible Lamelo. We could run Invincible Curry. Invincible John Morant. Invincible Derrick Rose. And that's it. So out of those four, Lamelo at 6'7 is probably the best option. But my favorite player out of those four is D-Rose. Injuries are stupid. I love D-Rose. 6'3 point guard. I'm throwing D-Rose. Rosen. As shooting guard, we could go Devin Booker. We could go Clay Thompson, which are actually the only two pure shooting guards I pulled. But there are some small forwards who can play that position. Jalen Williams, who's my current front runner. Grant Hill. I almost got to do Grant Hill. I almost got to do Grant Hill since we ended with him. Or we could do Scotty Pippen. I think I'm going to go Grant Hill. I like Grant Hill. All right. Invincible Grant Hill at the two. At small forward, I'm taking Jason Tatum to start. So we've got two Duke players right here. At power forward, this is an absolute no brainer. I'm taking Victor Wembanyama and at our center. Now, as far as Invincibles go, I've got DeMarcus Cousins, Walker Kessler, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I'll actually run Kareem. And on the bench, I'm going to make sure I put Yao Ming just in case we run into anybody cheesing with a crazy tall player. We'll have Yao to stop them. And our bench lineup. My bench point guard will be LaMelo Ball. He's a great option. My bench shooting guard will be Klay Thompson. My bench small forward is Jalen Williams. No, my bench small forward is going to be Jabari Smith Jr. My bench shooting guard will be Jalen Williams, and I'm actually going to move Clay over to the bench. Sorry, Clay. My bench power forward is Pau Gasol, and my bench center is Walker Kessler. And I don't want to forget about Blake Griffin, so I'll put Blake Griffin here as well. He could be a good sub in at a lot of different positions. Damn! Oh, this was actually so hard to choose because I have so many stacked players. And look at how many players I left out. Like, look at how many players are going to see no reps. Curry, John Morant, Russell Westbrook, Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins, Larry Bird is getting left out. Oh, that pisses me off. Damn. I don't have much of a choice. I am so excited to use this lineup, though, boys. Let's go hop into a game. Thompson, Anthony Black, T-Mac. Ooh, 
This is what I was worried about. Mark Eaton and George are absolutely gigantic. So they might give me a little trouble, but I think, you know what? I've got Weminyama. I got nothing to worry about. I get a little screen here. Gonna walk past it. And <laughs> That's could not be freer for Weminyama. Good start. Little turn over there up to Wemby. Pull it, Wemby! I like this defense here. Yeah, good hand up. That won't go. Look at the board from Jason Tatum. D Rose! Ugly layup, but I guess we'll take it. All right, Anthony Black's a little bigger than D Rose, but I still like his odds here. Good defense. He's passing. Uh oh, Jason Tatum ended up on the wrong guy. I don't think you're built to guard Georgie. Little pump fake Kareem. Go under it. Baseline slam. This is a great start for the Invincible Squad. Uh oh. I'm going to get dogged by that big Georgie. <gasps> Kareem! Kareem sent his shit packing. Oh my God, Kareem, I see you. Big Georgie will shoot a three right over George Hill, but he's got the rebounders. Pretty even game so far. Jason Tatum will power his way in. Good pump fake. Got him jumping. But he... I hate how quick they get up and down. Such a small window to get your pump fake off. Good defense. Kareem. Kareem's MVP right now. Over to Grant Hill. Grant Hill. Hey! <laughs> a little late on that dunk meter, but Ronald2000 was a little generous with me there today. I like that. Get out there. Late closeout. Late closeout won't do it. Over to Grant Hill. Little pump fake. Go in for the meter dunk again. This time I'm fouled. I didn't get an option. Grant Hill, what's your free throw looking like, buddy? Slow and steady? Very slow. Got it that time, though. Nine to nine. It's a rare score for me. Good defense here. Ooh. Surprised he didn't take that two with George. Oh, go up. Weapon Yama! Oh, dude, Ronnie 2 k is being quite generous with me today. I didn't get that meter perfectly either. All right, I'm going to bring in the whole bench. He's setting up a play. Dishes to Mark Eaton. Mark Eaton going to work on D. Rose. D. Rose, why are you on Mark Eaton? I must know. Oh, that's a freebie. Victor Wembenyama. Oh, I like that. D Rose with the rip. Oh, let's cook. D Rose with George on him. Oh, oh that was still covered. Oh, damn. I like this. No, I don't like this. Oh, my God. That was. All right, Miami. Respect, Miami. Ooh. He just took a charge and I lost the ball from it. What is happening? The big boys are going to work down there, man. That is for sure. He just puts one up. He's in position for the board. He's not even playing particularly well. They're just so damn tall. Oh, put it up. Oh. No shot to close the quarter, 13 to 19. I can definitely win this game, but I'm gonna have to lock in here. To start, I'll put in Wembenyama, Yao, Jabari Smith, Jalen Williams, and LaMelo at the point. Gotta be ready. I gotta stop. I gotta stop the tall boys. Yeah, he's got Marky in, Georgie, Taco, and Yao. This is why pulling pulling Yao was so important, though. It's pretty good defense. Gotta go tight. Can't give him those free. Just pass it in. Get a three. All the way, Wembenyama. <laughs> Made that a little too easy for me. is definitely gonna be able to slide past Taco. Especially if that's Pink Diamond Taco. Yeah! Snatch! By Wembenyama! LaMelo! Where the fuck are you going, Jabari? You're standing under the hoop with nobody on you. Just stay there. Why would you space for a three? Taco fall to the line. It is Pink Diamond Taco fall. That's good. Wemby will be able to slide past him. He's going to let me have the three. That... I was going to say it works for me, but we brick it. LaMelo with a nice steal. Down to what I thought was going to be Yao. LaMelo goes up on the, on the Giants. And is headed to the line. What's this free throw? All right. Dude, he fucking Hidokens that from his chest. What is that? That's gross. LaMelo with another steal. Don't force this pass. Don't force it. Oh, this is beautiful. Freebie for Victor Wembenyama. 18 to 24. Stay locked in, boys. We win this game. We stay locked in. I don't know why he's on an island. I don't know why... I got lost there, but I did. Easy three for Jalen Williams. That one will fall. I love Jalen Williams, man. He's got such a pure shot. 21-26. Good defense here. Oh, we love that. You shoot that all day. You can walk down there on Wembenyama and try and take that. Into Wemby. 
23-26. Coming back nicely, boys. Let's go. We're containing his giants, and that's what's leading. Just coming back here. Great defense. LaMelo's a machine right now. I could have passed to an open three, but that two is too, just too guaranteed. Oh, somebody's hurt. Somebody's leaking. What are you hurt for? Is he still going to try and score with him? LaMelo. But LaMelo, another steal. Dude, he's in hell out there. LaMelo is playing amazing defense. Wembenyama's got 16, and we finally take the lead for the first time this game. Hurricanes call a timeout. Let's go. Wembenyama's carrying real hard, but I'm scared, man. He's going to get a little gassed if I don't pull him. He's already at 67. It's time to pull Wembenyama. I'm going to bring in Kareem because Kareem's seven foot two. Maybe we go Pau. Let's go Pau Gasol. LaMelo's playing great. Jabari hasn't gotten many touches, and I like what Jalen Williams has done so far. So we're going to step this lineup. So right now it's Pau Gasol on Taco. He's got a lot of inches on me, but that's okay. Got Doug Christie up here going for the yam. That was so impressive, like straight up. Down to Yao, beautiful basketball, but I really don't know how Yao missed that slash didn't dunk it. That was so weird. All right, let's stay up on Christy. Oh, I have a hand up, but I wasn't in great position. Let's go Yao. Let, let Taco jump, let him jump, let him jump. One more time, Taco. How did you just get boarded on, pal? Jesus, this height difference is killing me. I'm bringing in Kareem. I don't think Powell was the right call. Out to Jabari Smith. His first shot. Pure. 30 to 30. Jabari Smith, I liked his jumper too. That was pretty. Oh, wow. Just left him wide open. Don't know why we're doubling. LaMelo all the way. Oh, LaMelo ball working up top. This could be a good game, man. 32 to 33. Dude, I'm just getting out-rebounded so bad right now. It's putting me in such a tough position. All right, well, he's on the ground. And LaMelo misses. Damn. Looked like he was in a dunk animation and then just kind of came out of it. What? You just, what? How did you make that? Dude, he just made a layup over Yao's extended arms. How did that happen? It's all right, we just got to stay composed. It's a high-scoring game. Scoring damn near every possession here. Good defense. Go right back to George. He's swatted and he gets his own fucking rebound. This guy's getting so lucky, but it's all going to wear off. Little midi from LaMelo. We got fouled on the midi. Hard to talk about luck when that happens for us. Although I can when I get red early. How? How you go from red early to a green? He gets no shot off. That's my favorite shot. This is one of the highest scoring games I've ever played. 35 to 39. Once I stop his big men, we are... Perfectly fine, but I haven't stopped his big boys yet. I'm gonna bring back in D Rose. I'm gonna bring back in Wembenyama. We gotta go to work here. Jabari on T Mac. Jalen Williams, stay up. Great defense. Great defense. No way. Who just got the board? Dude, I am getting out rebounded by about 10 rebounds right now. Just got rebounded on by fucking Thompson. And yeah, just dropped the ball. What is this, man? This is super frustrating. It's gotta wear off, man. This luck has got to wear off. There's no way you can keep getting this lucky. Where the fuck? That is supposed to be a pass to Yao. He gets a wide open three in transition and hits it. It's an 11 point game just like that. Up to Jabari, into Yao. Yao with a freebie. 37 to 46. We got to come back and win this, bro. This is too frustrating. Okay. There's a rip from Yao. Up to Jalen Williams. I would say something, but he made it. It's really hard to say something if he makes it. That was about the dumbest shit I've ever seen, but I respect it because he made it. Big Georgie 3, you wouldn't dare. I didn't think you would. Great defense. It don't get any better than that. All the way with Wembenyama. Now I really can't talk shit. I think he legitimately just swatted the ball into the hoop. Never actually seen that before. I'm just straight up here with Yao and Wembenyama, and we get a stuff. He gets the offensive board. We stuffed him again. Yup, good patience, Jabari. Oh, we don't get that, but we do get the board. Great job from Yao. Jalen Williams, he's my shooter. What? That's so whack. I know that shot so well. Great defense! He's getting dogged down there now. Well, I know Wembenyama's a good shooter too. What the fuck is going on with these dribble pull-ups? Slightly early on two of them. I should I should be winning right now. Great defense. Get the fuck out of the paint. 
It's getting bullied in the paint right now. All the way. Mm! Fuck shooting threes. Dude, he's scared in the paint right now. And he should be. And he should be! Team takeover. Weapon Yama! Get the fuck out of here! With limitless range. A wide open shot. This is crazy. This game is scripted. It's scripted for him to win. And I need to go talk to the script writers. It's fucking crazy, dude. These are wide open threes with invincibles. Just going for the layup with Wembenyama, make it 45-48. We've already clawed back from, what, an 11-point deficit? Oh, Mark Eaton's wide open. Struggling to get a shot off. So is Big Georgie. <laughs> he pulls up a midi with Georgie, and he hits it. I respect it. No, bad pass. Not sure what happened there, but Wembenyama decided not to pick up George and let D-Rose do it. Stop. Pass it. This game is scripted. Too easy for you. You're kidding. Wembenyama with the rip. Windmills at home, 47 to 52. I'm gonna foul because I need to get timeouts off. I gotta get some, some energy back in the boys. I'll go Blake Griffin at the three. Let's go Grant Hill at the two. I'm gonna go Clay Thompson point guard. I'm gonna bring in Kareem and Walker Kessler just to give a little bit of a, a breath to those guys. Anthony Black free throw. Absolute brick, ball don't lie. Another timeout, just gotta get some wind in the sails. 10 seconds to get up a good shot. Clay Thompson, three. Why even shoot a three, Matt? You already know you're gonna brick it, right? 47 to 53, I gotta bring Wembenyama and Yao back in to stop the big boys. <sighs> I need a real good fourth quarter right now. I am tilted right now. I am fully fucking tilted. That's for sure. All right, Wembenyama, Yao. I'll keep in the rest. Although, I probably want LaMelo here. So let's make that substitution now. Just need a bucket. And oh! I have to wait. Great defense. Straight up and down. Great defense. We got to score on every possession. I can't have any more dead possessions. Great work. Let Taco jump. Give it to give it to Wembenyama. 49 to 53. Yao's got some takeover right now. I don't know what it is. That's my Yao, right? Not his. Great defense! Yo, who sends him packing? I'm gonna ignore that screen. I'm gonna go all the way in. I'm just gonna take it. Oh! 51 to 53! I'm so glad we pulled Wemby. I would be so fucking toast if I didn't have Wemby right now. A steal from Clay. A transition take foul. I'm sending Clay to the line. I think it's really fast. If I remember. Yes. I'm so glad I remember that. Holy shit, I'm so glad I remember that. We can take the lead here. What a fucking run to start the fourth. What a run. All right, let's get one from Wemby. Play this as smart as humanly possible. LaMelo straight up. Oh! Why? Why are you trying to be fucking Air Jordan in the dunk contest? Oh my God. And look at this. Look who's on him here. LaMelo is on taco fall and it just leaves a wide open three. Good thing he bricks it, but good thing he gets his board swatted by Yao. He gets it again. Would you go fuck yourself? I'm fouling. This is insane. That's fine. Go ahead. Great defense. That was uh, that was Im impeccable defense, and he still gets that. Grant Hill, wide open three. Butter. 55 to 55. Spectacular basketball right there. Good defense, Blake! Lana Rhodes! Grant Hill! Oh! Take the lead! 57 to 55. Oh, Taco had me. He had a three there, too. This is fine. Out of bounds! Yeah, Taco, you you should be mad about that. Let's go, Wemby. Bring me one. Don't get fancy, Matt. Don't get fancy. Let's play basketball. Wemby on the pick and roll. Four-point lead. That's a 30 bomb for Wembenyama. He's looking for Taco. He has Yao. Goaltending didn't matter. He's getting that anyway. 59 to 57. It's Wembenyama versus the Giants. I mean, Wembenyama is a Giant, but it's Wembenyama versus the Giants right now. Wembenyama to the paint. Oh my God. He's unbelievable. He's unfucking believable. Oh, sh to shoot it, Taco. I want to see it. <laughs> that would have been sick. If he'd gotten that, dude, I would have been, I would have gone crazy for him. Blake Griffin. <laughs> oh, six point lead. Oh my God, Lana Rhodes, I love you. You made this game possible, Lana. You know that, right? Scotty with a nice move. Dishes down! I fucking own you! He needs this here. Oh, he doesn't get it. Shoots a good three. Bricks it! Wemby's got it! Let's use our clock. Use it. Oh, he's going for the double team, right? Use the clock. We're fine. One more. Lamello! Oh! 
That would have been the dagger. We don't hit it though. There's not a lot of clock here. He's really got to shoot something. He gets nothing. Up to Yao Ming. Yo, to the line. Let's go. Dude, I was so tilted. I thought for sure I was going to lose this game. But we fucking stuck it out. I think the thing that turned this game around for me was the Grant Hill three. Because when I was bricking those threes with everybody, bro, I was just like, this is this is some harsh shit. <laughs> Stupid deep with Wembenyama. Two, one. And that's all she wrote. Let's go! What a game, boys! I pulled 50 invincible players, took them into a game, and we got the dub. Losing by six going into the fourth quarter, and we end up winning the game by seven. I can't wait to see this fourth quarter breakdown, bro. Absolutely dominated the fourth quarter. I shot 56%, he shot 49, he shot better threes than me, but dude, I had wide open threes that for some reason were not falling. That was so frustrating. But it's all about the fourth quarter. He scored four. He scored four points in the fourth quarter. That's how you win a ball game right there. Oh my God. That's insane. Dude, look at this first half though. I got seven rebounds. He got 15. Just completely dogged me on rebounds. In the second half, he got 16 and I got 14. So still a little closer, but dude, I was just getting beat up on those points. Taking a look at the box score. Iwemben Yama shot 26 times. Oh, for seven from three. You take away his three pointers. He shot 16 for 19. Somehow I missed seven times with Wemby Yama threes, which is like my favorite three point shooter. I was just off today, but 32 points, seven boards, two steals, two blocks, a turnover. Grant Hill had eight. So efficient. He really wasn't even on the court that much, but he was so efficient. He had 11 minutes. Jabari Smith drilled his three very efficient as well. LaMelo. Not so efficient, but he did have six assists and five steals. He was a defensive nightmare. Jayla Williams drilled a three. D Rose bricked a three. Three points for Yao. Two points for D Rose. Two points for Kareem. Two points for Blake. Blake came in clutch there at the end. Two points, a board, two assists. We love you, Blake. All right, boys, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I was going to say, I'll see you in the next 2K video. This, this isn't the last one, but it's close. It's close to the last one. All right, hey, love you guys. Thanks for watching, as always. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.